Hey everyone, welcome to a brand new video here on the channel. Today we are back with Throne in Liberty, and I'm just going to give you a brief rundown on how dungeons work in this game. How you get into them, how you queue up, how you get loot, and all of that. So do me a favor, go ahead and press that like button. It really helps the channel, and if you enjoy the content, consider subscribing. In the meantime, sit back, relax, enjoy a snack, and let's get into the video. Alright, so for dungeons, there's a, a couple ways to get those started. If you go into your main menu, the first way is you can go down here to party board. And you'll have a listing of people looking for people. They have minimum uh, combat levels, combat power. So, you know, you can do it that way. The other way is just random, kind of like World of Warcraft's random dungeons. So if you go to party matchmaking down here, you'll be presented with this. Now this will tell you your current level and it will tell you what's required. Uh, the requirements are just base requirements. So you'll pick your role, whether you're damage, a tank, or a healer. So for this instance, we'll pick offensive. Now you'll have sometimes different um, seasonal things like the haunted labyrinth that one will change the random dungeon will put you into just a random dungeon and you'll get extra chance at loot to crafting if you do that now if you're looking for somewhere specific you can look through all of the dungeons as you're leveling up they unlock at level 20 30 and 40 and then 50 is where the, I guess you'd call them heroic dungeons come into play. And then you just click on the one you want. And then you'll be able to hold X and it'll queue you up. Now, if you want to see what you can get from a dungeon beforehand, if you go to co-op dungeons, you'll get this big screen. All right, so if you click here, it shows all the items that you can get. If you click triangle for view probability, so this character or this boss drops four different groups of items. So the first group, you'll get a chance at one of these things. Now, it's only a chance. You may get none. And you can see the chances that are on there. Uh, group two, another one there's only a chance that you'll get something from this group group three obviously that's a hundred percent chance you're gonna get that every time you go and then group four same thing a hundred percent chance so if we look at a normal one say for example temple of slaughter which is the heroic version um you have all these rewards there's a lot of groups. Some of the stuff is 100% that you might get, some is not. So as you go through, and see this will tell you like the group percentage, there's a 3.30% chance that you'll get this group. But if you do get the group, it's a 100% chance that that's what it'll be. This one is 16%. So, yeah, you just look through. But then, as you go through, you can see, like, okay, here you have a 5% chance at getting this uh, purple crossbow, 5% chance at these daggers, etc. And of course, you can see the stats on them. So, you can kind of plan out where you want to go. Another thing we want to talk about is well, how do you get the loot? For most places, um, you know, you would go kill the boss, get loot. But here it's a little trickier. 
you have to have these contract coins. And it tells you you need 300 to get the loot. However, as long as you have any, if you have 10, for example, you can go in and get the loot, you'll just be in the negative. And what happens is you'll get 900 each day, so essentially 300 per, or three per day. All right, and so once you've decided what you want to do and you request the matchmaking, this is going to appear, I'm pointing like you can see, this is going to appear on the left-hand side of the screen, which shows the roles that are available. Once that fills up, we'll get a pop-up. Okay, and so you'll get pop-ups when people are ready. I'm just crafting in the meantime. So you'll get that pop-up right there. Now there's a good chance that it'll go away, come back, go away. Definitely a hassle when you are in combat, but once it's done, you'll go in just like this. All right, and then once you're done, you have your loot in your inventory, whatever you may get. You'll probably get some of these coins and in this case we did a random one so we got this chest right here which will just give us more loot obviously guaranteed reward and a possible reward so it looks like all i got was the guaranteed reward which then gives me another chest or I can select the different tokens that are used for weapons and such. But that's basically it. I mean, that's a good intro to dungeons. I do recommend, obviously, you watch the videos on each dungeon because they do have mechanics. They can be a little tricky. And depending on what role you play, your mechanic may be very important. But otherwise, enjoy your dungeon delving. And I will catch you on the next one. Surviving jump scares With a pink glow on his face cap He conquers